Radio Svoboda shows higher quality satellite images of Belbek airfield. The satellite images were taken over the airfield in Crimea on May 16. There was a fire in the parking lots of Su-27, Su-30 and MiG-31 aircraft. There may be more than three affected planes, as the satellite image does not show all the damage from the cluster warhead. The pictures also show the burnt-out warehouse of ammunition. Satellite images of the consequences of an Atakms cluster missile strike on the Belbek airfield. Traces of fire can be seen at the parking places of two MiG-31s and the ammunition warehouse. The news outlet KRYM Realii, which is part of US-funded network Radio Free Liberty, said the attack was carried out in two waves, and after the second, several explosions similar to detonation were heard. KRYM Realii said that its data showed that at the airfield were based 12 Sukhoi Su-27 aircraft, 12 Sukhoi Su-27SM aircraft, and 3 Sukhoi Su-27UB combat training aircraft, as well as 5 two-seat Sukhoi Su-30M2, a total of 32 jets. The post did not outline whether the aircraft were damaged and that, it is unclear whether the fire was caused by a missile strike. The exact number of missiles involved is unclear, but Russian military blogger Rybar said the attack involved 16 Atakms missiles, which last month the US said it had given Kiev. Unfortunately, one or two missiles could not be shot down and the consequences of this have been revealed to the whole world, thanks to the publication of a video from a CCTV camera, the Post said. How and why this is still possible in the third year of the war has long been a rhetorical question. The Russian Defense Ministry said that its air defenses had thwarted the attack by downing 10 long-range missiles. Local residents told the ASTRA Telegram channel that there were about 20 missiles fired.